Respect, the United States government has volunteered to return the Byzantine fire, a legend for over a thousand years, to its rightful owner, the Republic of Turkey. In accordance with the wishes of the Turkish government, no one has laid eyes on the ruby as it seems that. The stone carries a superstition. Not a superstition, a curse, a curse of death to anyone who lays eyes upon the ring. A curse, then. No one has set eyes on the ruby itself except for a museum worker. Now dead. Yes, now dead. Who originally discovered the ruby among a collection willed to the county museum by an anonymous stone. And this will mark a new period of international cooperation for the protection of rare and valuable... Come <laughs> on. 
It's a Hasselmord. So that's how that's pronounced. Ah. Everything's looking good. Foreign clowns is a Mansurian. Gus Scott! Gus, someone's here. You gotta get the hell out of there. I am Mansurian. I'm Friedley. And I'm Zachary. CIA. CIA. So tell us about the ruby. Now listen here, we don't know anything about it. Open the store, Mansurian. Get out of there! We're taking up the ass. How did you know it was me? CIA. is talking to us. Gus, Bruno, take me, squeeze every last drop out of me, then turn me upside down and shave me till my last penny drops out at your feet. Bruno, what? You're gonna wake up June. Okay, okay, okay. No, he won't. Holy shit. It was supposed to be that job interview an hour ago. I'll see you later. Uh, Dad, a job interview at 2 a.m.? 
Mm. We cracked the Hasselmoy 2000 to get it. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Gee, you told me you'd stop. We did, but we were pressured into this by circumstances. By overwhelming economic opportunity versus the diminished potential in a depressed job market. I'm having great difficulty believing this. Which part? Oh, every part. Couldn't you guys try honest work more often? Once even? <laughs> well, in my old job at the zoo, they used to test food on me to see if it was safe for Coco the gorilla. I could put in a good word for you. See? Thanks. I'll think about it. Huh? Well, I'm out of here. Bye, honey. See you tomorrow when we fence the stuff. You're mad at me? Oh, no. I'm not mad. I'm disappointed. Yeah, I am mad. Fed up. fine. Don't worry about me. I want to marry you. I want to marry you too. Someday. When? When you quit. You were supposed to be looking for a real job. I am looking. Just haven't found anything. So you decided to rob a jewelry store? That was kind of a nice gesture on my part. What? You did it for us. For us? Yeah. I wanted to make sure we'd be comfortable from the beginning. We're comfortable now. Lula, what is this? Costume. Reproduction. Fake jewel. <laughs> You promise that there won't be any more nice gestures. I promise. Will you stop listening to my father? I will. When? would cooperate in stopping vehicles with diplomatic plates? The suggestion that diplomats with the United Nations are responsible is ridiculous. What agency was responsible for the transfer of the Byzantine fire? Uh, yeah. That's classified information. Now we know that because the Byzantine fire has been missing for over 200 years that there are no photographs available of it. But we have located a rendering of the gem in question in this 18th century painting. Christian Splendor! Turkish Murder! Don't prick me, Leon. Ouch. God damn it. But, sir, don't you want everyone to know who you are? Do you like a large present? That's your ass, Ray. What's the count already know, Leon? Look, this is no ordinary press conference. These are diplomats in there. Here's a little speech I worked up for you. Absolutely right, sir. Armenian plunder! Turkish murder! Gentlemen, please! Throw out the cook! Yeah, you're a thief! I don't Maybe think we should not... roll out the Soviets. Quiet, goddammit! Oh, watch your language, sir. This is gonna be on the six o'clock news. I don't give a fuck if they print it on the side of milk cartons. My name is Chief Inspector Francis Mahoney, LAPD. And this thing happened on my turf. Now, you two dickheads can blame the Ruskies if you want to. And the rest of you, uh, aliens.
can blame each other. But I did not get to be top cop in this great city without recognizing a burglary when I see one. And this was a burglary. This was definitely done by a safe cracker and a damn good one. But you can bet your sweet sister's ass I'm gonna find him if I have to haul in every goddamn criminal in this city. And now, if you will excuse me, I have jails to fill. The jails are full. Then I will fill the hallways. What is your name, sir? Honey, can we take Dad shopping tonight? Whatever you say. We gotta get him out of all that polyester. He's a potential fire hazard. Here, drink up. I gotta go, I'm late. of the new Armenian Liberation Party. And I want the stone. What stone? Don't be gone with me, infidel. Or you'll give me no choice. She's very beautiful. She's my cousin, Erika. And her blood will be on your hands. What? I am holding her hostage, and I will kill her in one hour if you do not give me the stone. Are you sure you've got this hostage deal straight? I will kill a member of my family every six hours until you give it to me. How did that for straight? I can tell you're a real problem. Where is it? Oh, uh, it's in the glove compartment. don't want to lose June. I want to get married. I want to settle down. I'm quitting. That's not what you want to do. That's what June wants you to do. And what about me? We're a team. If you quit, what am I going to do? <laughs> First, we're going to change your boots. Then you'll be my best man. Come on, Bruno. Cheer up! What's the password? Carl. That was last year's. Okay, Ralph, what's the new one? Circus. Come on. Okay. Circus. Next time I'll pick the lock. Hey, come on in. May died, all right? Must have died in here. <laughs> Ready for business? <laughs> you know, that's all people ever say to me. Do they say to me, hi, Ralph? You know, how you doing, Ralph? Hi, Ralph. How you doing? You don't mean it. 
You know, I see people in a bar, I buy them a drink, I talk about the problems, I talk about their job, I even get in, you know, involved in the personalities. The next day I see them, you know, they, they go to a different bar. The only people, you know, the reason people come see me is because I give top dollar. Just because they don't want to sit and talk to me, you know, this guy gives lousy dollar, they go see this guy Stoom. Let's go to Stoom's. Beautiful, beautiful. Wait just a second. <laughs> beautiful. So, you, you boys got a fortune here. You don't have to take this to a uh, stone. Open up, Ralph, please. Just a minute, please. <laughs> Somebody dying here? Oh, I don't think that's any of your business. Wrong again, Ralph. See, everything you do is my business. <sighs> oh, I don't think so. Wait a minute. What's this? What's it look like? You guys haven't have a search warrant? You happen to have any stolen goods? That's cut glass costume jewelry, so forget it. <laughs> you know what I like about you, Ralph? Why? Nothing. Let's go. Listen, I gotta get my overcoat. I catch cold in the lockup. Sorry. I just lost half a million diamonds. I can't believe it! We can always ask the cops to give it back. That was the stupidest idea I've ever heard. Don't worry, there's gonna be plenty more where that came from. Hey, mister, could you help me? I need to get home. Buzz off. What's the problem? I forgot the combination. <sighs> Don't bother. I've tried. Sure. Mr. Boy Scout, give me a break, Bruno. 14, 24, 36. Don't forget. Thanks, mister. Sweet kid. Yeah, I like little girls. No, something big must be going down. Hey! Where's my Cops bike? haven't been this busy Look. since 1969. Just telling the boys here what happened to Pete Orban. Something happened to Pete Orban? Yeah, we had this little thing. See, he uh, shortchanged me. Said he made a mistake. Said he was counting on his fingers. So, what happened? Well, I cut off some of them fingers. He won't count on them no more. <laughs> Firstly, I use a calculator. Yeah, I think that's wise. All right. Let's get down to business. The cops grabbed me this morning, jacked me around for two hours. Yeah, they've been leaning pretty heavy. The cops are very impolite. It's because of this ruby. Nobody can do nothing. I can't stick my fucking head out my fucking window. All because the cops can't find some shiny rock. What rock? Bison team five. Yeah. You'd think the law would have found that damn stone by now. Oh, the law. You want to count on the law? That's right. Where are they when you need them? Yeah, my business is in the crap all because the cops can't find this ruby. Yeah, and what did we do? I don't know what we did, but we got to do something. The cops grabbed our loot. We ought to do it. Do what? Find the ruby. And then what? Give it to the cops? Look, guy in town took the stone, right? Yeah. So I know some guys, and you guys know different guys, and they know guys. By the time you're done, everybody knows it. Who are all these goddamn guys? Us! Yeah, it's coming in now, boss. The Byzantine fire, missing for centuries, remains missing. An intense police crackdown on known criminal elements has so far netted nothing. The stolen Byzantine fire, which carries an alleged ancient curse, 
was taken last night at City Hall. <laughs> you were a genius, man. I'm gonna give you this fucker's head on a plate. Eat him for lunch. Hey, I don't think we should, like, rush into anything. What? Why the hell not? I mean, we got the manpower, we got the excess, we got the interest. Hey, 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 Benji, 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 get to the cops. Well, you're a stoolie, work for us for a change. Come on, Tiny. Well, pretend you a stoolie, then. Pretend I'm a stoolie? Yeah. I like that. All right, everybody out of here, all of you. And I want everybody back here at five. I've got the stone. You've got the stone? Yeah. Gus, this is it. Come on, Bruno, stop fighting, OK? We're in trouble. Are you kidding? We're in the black, 10 nothing. This is it, Gus, the big cash in. Oh, yeah, I always knew we had it in us. Oh, I'm gonna get a couple of these for my scrapbook. Bruno, Bruno! What? What do we do now? What do we do now? We proceed directly to go. That's what the hell we do now. Where's the stone? At the apartment. Hey, Bruno! What? Bruno! <laughs> Hey, Gus! Stone. I'm sorry, but the computer was down and... You're sorry. Uh, you know, I'm sick and tired of hearing I'm sorry. You know, ever since you people went to the new computer, all I ever hear around here is I'm sorry. I'm sorry for this. Excuse me, miss. I'm sorry. No. No. Thank you for visiting with us, Monsieur Cardinal. Thank you for inviting me. I am with the Turkish delegation to the United Nations. My name is Bakran Osbarez Borjaran. Nice to meet you, Bob. I advise you not to trifle with us, Monsieur Cardinal. We have placed listening devices in the hideaways of this city's most nefarious criminals, including that of Monsieur Tiny. And somebody better know where that stone is. Now, we know that you are after our Byzantine fire. Who do you think has it? Elvis? We checked. He has an alibi. <laughs> Sorry. I'll do my best to find it. 800 years ago, the stone was stolen from Constantinople. The guiding spirits of all of Byzantium disappeared with it, and the Empire crumbled into ash. To guarantee the rebirth of the great Byzantine Empire, the stone, the ruby, must be returned. So your best will not be enough. You must do better, Monsieur Cardinal. So you will find it, and you will give it to me. Or else. Better than my best is no problem. I warn you, do not make me do something that I would not do unless someone made me do it because they didn't do something someone told them to do. Don't worry, Bob. I would never do something to make someone do something to someone, because that someone didn't do something that someone wanted them to do. I'm glad we understand each other. Me too. We will be in touch. You may go now.
did you do to my living room? Same thing you did to your bedroom. Did, did you, you find, find it? it? I guess it's not a cheap reproduction, huh? Guess not. Excuse me. I wonder what we're gonna get for it. Oh, we'll get about 20 years. Killed, hunted down like deer. Come on. Cardinal? Rumor has it you're one of the best safe crackers in Europe. I know. I started the rumor. Don't get smart with me. Let's get stupid. Rene. Augustine. Those are girls' names, aren't they? Well, not in Switzerland. What do they call you in America? Rene? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Gus. Do you know why you were brought here? Because the Byzantine fire was stolen. Oh, really? You know, huh? Well, then maybe you could tell us why the Turks won it back, huh? To guarantee the return of the great Byzantine Empire. He knows. Well, now, is there anything you don't know, such as the stone was stolen by Armenians? And then somebody stole it from them? And it's your job to get it back. I know that. Print them. Give me your hand. No, the other hand. Left hand. Thumb. Just relax it. Let me do it. Whoa! Put that finger away. When you're in Los Angeles, the LAPD decides when to fingerprint. Hi. Hi. What is your name? Gus. Gus what? Gus Cardinal. Cardinal, like the bluebird. Where's that accent from, Gus? New Jersey? Yeah. Switzerland. You married? No. Why the ring? I used to be married. I stopped. Don't dick with me, Gus. 
Last guy dick with me is painting landscapes with his teeth. What color is a ruby, Gus? Ruby, what color is it? Red. What does the word Hasselmort mean to you? Hassel? One word, Hasselmort. A deli? Deli. Safe breath. Get out of here, Gus. Now. If we need you, we'll give you a call. That, gentlemen, is how you conduct an interrogation. What's the matter? Get your face caught in a zipper? What do you mean by that? that van? Sure. That was my brother and his family. They thought they were going to Disneyland. I hope you're satisfied. What? You blew up your brother and his family? They were honored to die for the cause. My grandmother loved her life. Give me the stone. Gus? Who, may I ask, was that? I have a strong feeling you won't believe me. Let's go. Try me. Well, uh, a homicidal Armenian terrorist. Please. She knows about the ring. You still have it? Of course I still have it. I can't take it off. They didn't, they, they didn't see it? June, they saw it and they said, please, Mr. Cardinal, go home. Okay, what do you Okay, you think? don't have to get snappy. I'm not snappy. What are we gonna do? Let's go home. Let's just go home. Okay? So, Benji Klopsik. Good afternoon, Chief Inspector. Fry in hell, Klopsik. My pleasure, sir. So, a lot of you social misfits, petty anti hustlers, cheap jack four flushers, misunderstood children of malnourished mothers, have decided to help the LAPD find the Byzantine fire. Is that it? Yes, sir. All of us misfits are very excited about it. Listen to me, haircut. There is no deal here. Whatever you and your friends decide to do will be done strictly out of public spiritedness. You got that? Yes, sir, Chief Inspector. Good. Now get out of here. Yes, sir, Chief Inspector. Now. Come on, Benji. Put a wire on him. Uh, a wire, sir? You got a problem with that, Klopsik? No, sir. Uh, a small wire would be my pleasure, sir. Try and hell, you stupid scum. My pleasure, sir. It's good as new. So what happens now? Gotta go to Tiny. Tiny's now? Why? 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 Because I don't want to have my legs broken. What? Legs. Hey, hey, hey. You can't keep that in the house. Why not? Because it's dangerous. June, Take it out. June, it's not dangerous. Take it with you. I can't. Why not? Because it's it... dangerous, precisely. Exactly. So my source, this West Side guy, tells me diplomats have the ruby at the Russian embassy. Oh, oh baloney. Sit your fat butt down. You watch too much TV. Shut up! Aha! Gus and Bruno, just in time. Well, this is your bright idea, to look for the guy with the ruby. Sure. I hope you got some news for us. I can trust you guys? Yeah. Like family? Yeah. Cousins. Okay. I can guarantee the 
The ruby ring. How come you can't say it, Gus? I know, I know, I know that voice. Oh, I can say it. Is that so? I know, I know, I know, I know that voice. I know that voice. Come here. Come here! <laughs> I've known you guys for a while, right? Sure. Well, Gus, there is a stink coming from you like something I never smelt before. No, that's me. I just had Thai food. No, I don't think so. I think it's you guys. Breaker, breaker, roller skate. This is Widowmaker. Do you copy? Breaker, breaker, roller skate. Shut up. Why am I why in my room? Oh, Do you copy? Oh, roller skate. Get out of here. Oh, oh, Benji. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out Officer, hello. Sorry, the bad breaks. Chief, I promised him departmental protection. He promised me. Well, he did. Chief, if we don't help him, every informant in town's gonna know that we didn't help him. And for the next six months, we won't know jack shit from a juju bee. Jack shit. And he did get us our man. And you owe me. I do. Yeah. But I don't want any of those programs, none of them witness protection things. It won't do me no good. Well, what do you want, Popsick? Sit down, Chief. Sit down. Well, uh, plastic surgery for starters. And, and a new name. A whole new identity. And uh, a nice apartment. A nice soft job. Decent money. But not too much work. And, uh, hey, maybe in the mayor's office. Mayor's office? Yeah. And I don't want to be a clopsick no more. But what do you want to be, Klopsik? I want to be a Smith. Benji Smith? No, Brenda Smith. Brenda Smith. Oh, oh I would love. To help you become a friend. Chief, I'll take care of it, Chief. Just think I'll take care of it. Fuck Brenda Smith. Brenda fucking Smith. Speak to Mahoney. Chief, the 
This is somebody on the phone I think you really ought to talk to. Who? Guess. Who? What color is a ruby? Hello? Mahoney? Yes, Cardinal, it is. I'm not Cardinal. Oh, really? Got the ruby, I want to make a deal. A deal? Let me tell you something. Not only would I not disgrace myself doing deals with the likes of you, when I get a hold of you, I'm going to ram your head so far up your ass, you'll be staring at your monkey at that. Oh. Maybe that was the wrong approach. Maybe you shouldn't have yelled at him. You scared him off. Who the fuck asked you, Leon? Yeah, Leon. And we gotta get him. Us! Not the CIA, not those uh, foreign creeps. I couldn't agree with you more, sir. And not the goddamn criminal element, either. Although you can bet your granny's knockers they got the best shot at it. Absolutely, sir. I think we lost him. We can sit here through the next administration, and I bet that... That's the line. Cardinal? Cardinal? <laughs> I'm not Cardinal. Yeah, and I'm not Mahoney either. So talk to me, stranger. Listen, I've got the ruby. I don't want it. You do. Let's make a deal. The ruby for what? A different thief. Greater LA. Another thief? Sherman Oaks, I think. Yeah. You find a guy, you announce you got him in the ruby ring, and it's over. Uh, he's in Long Beach or, or Malibu. God, would you make up your goddamn mind? Someplace with sand. Well, where is this thief? I mean, if he doesn't exist, I don't have somebody for the press conference. And if he does, the frame doesn't stick. Hey, listen, what do I know? I'm not a cop. He's in Hollywood. <laughs> well, blow me dry. What? Brenda Smith. Who? I don't think that's any of your business. I got the perfect guy. So what about the ring? After you make the announcement. What announcement? On the 11 p.m. news, you just say you've caught the thief with the ruby ring. You got yourself a deal. All right, I, I think he's in Pasadena or... Uh, oh, forget it. I don't know where this guy is. I want my diamonds back. What diamonds? The ones your men took from my fence, Rolf Jackson. I'll check into it. Now, how do I get the ring? I'll get back to you later. First, you make the announcement. Thanks a lot. Nice work. What happened? The Turks have been here. Going somewhere? Yeah, I solved everything. We're leaving the country. I made a deal with the police to trade the ring for the diamonds. That'll solve our problems. Fine, then we're out of here. The ring is gone. I know, I took it. Thank God. 
See, I told you, keeping it here was dangerous, and if I hadn't moved it, the Turks would have found it. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Where do you put it? In my safety deposit box. Good thinking. All we gotta do is go and get it. Let's go. Hang on, hang on, wait, the bank's closed. <laughs> don't you have keys? Yeah, well, I mean, it's a bank. They don't just give keys to everybody who works there. Okay, we'll, we'll get it in the morning. Uh, tomorrow's Saturday. The bank's closed. Banks are open on Saturdays. Not this one. We'll just have to wait till Monday. Monday, I'll be in jail. On Monday, we'll be in Europe. Wait a minute. I've got a better idea. We're going to get the ruby tonight. Give it to the cops by tomorrow. And be in Europe on Monday. My bank? Yeah. Me? Yes. No. Yes. No. Go. Oh, Dad. Sorry. Now he wants us to go downstairs. Okay, yeah, we are. We'll be right down. Look! Beauty, huh? What a car! Wanna go for a ride? No. Yeah. Who did you steal this car? I didn't steal it. The Turks gave it to me. What do you mean, the Turks? We made a deal. Wanna go for a ride? No, I don't want to go for a ride. What kind of deal? I promise that we get the ruby to them by tomorrow at 8. What? Just take it back. I know what you're thinking, Gus, but you're wrong. The Ferrari's at the down payment, a show of good faith. We're getting $2 million in U.S. currency, too. Just return the car. I can't. They threatened us, Uncle. How little? They said if we didn't get the ring to them, they'd chop our heads off. <laughs> they could chop our heads off. It's just a deal point, part of the negotiations, something to keep them happy. So my advice is, give them the ring. My advice, Bruno, is get out of here now! What about the Turks? What about the Turks? I don't know about the Turks. I'm going to deal with the Turks somehow. How? How? Without you, that's how. Now, go! Okay, okay, guys, take it easy. Oh, take it easy. Sure, by Monday we'll be dead. Take it easy. Okay, well, how are you going to take care of the Turks? we got to rob my bank and then give the stone to the police. A bank job? Out. I just, I haven't got a dishonest bone in my body. Bruno, your father? Of course he is, but I, I, don't, I don't know anything about robbing the bank. Don't worry, he doesn't either. Oh, I find that hugely comforting, thank you. June, relax. I just need one assistant. All you gotta do is follow my instructions. I can't do it. Forget it. I haven't got the stomach for it, especially not my bank. First instruction, all this, don't move. instruction get in <laughs> borrowed car can't trace the place <laughs> i'm gonna rob my bank in a stolen car i borrowed it we'll give it back in an hour hey june if it makes you feel better we're gonna buy the rest of the stuff we need okay Come on, come on, come on. 
Come on, here they come, Gus. Go on, go on. That's it, that's it. Flight's in. Flight's in, Gus. Let's go. You know, those cops are gonna be there for hours. Do you mind? This is my favorite part of the picture. This is where she takes the hanger and sticks it in his eye. Far-reaching intelligence network predicted. Okay. Now you bring me Gus, and I will get you out of the country with the ruby. Deal. You host. Long live the glorious new Armenian Liberation Party. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, long live, right. Gus's girl, and then you bring Gus with the ruby to me. Got it, boss.
exploding bird! Oh, shit! this actually would be an, a kind of an opportune spot maybe to meet some new folks. Another life is on your hands. Another? My grandmother. You killed your grandmother? She was honored to die for the coast. Now give me the ring, or I blow my father's brain down. thinking of something. I hope so, too. No one should look that serious unless they're thinking of something. Hey, 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 look, 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 Tom. Hey, hey, Gus! Gus! The thief was apprehended by Police Chief Francis Mahoney late this evening. He is identified as Benjamin Arthur Klopzik. Mahoney said his arrest was the result of the work of a team of police detectives working around the clock. Yes. We did pick up the no good c or m piece of s your bony tonight. We got his mother too. It just goes to prove what good can happen when the public cooperates with the police. And that bad things can happen when no talent jabonies don't. Thank you. Okay. We've got to get the ruby to Mahoney and the Turks. That's impossible. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Gus is impossible. No, it's You not. have a plan? I do. Oh, it's different. 
We gotta be at Arco Terrace in Long Beach by dawn. Let's go. Providence boys just pulled in. Dad? Good luck. everyone. Oh, yeah? Well, then who was that? CIA dogs. Let's go. CIA? Uh, look, you go, and uh, I'll stay here and keep watch, okay? South Army the Locks. Yes, they're all yours. <laughs> Tower. Better not be dicking with me, Leon. Oh, stop it. He's coming up. Specified small unmarked currency? 
There is two million one dollar bills in this bag. Bruno? Bruno! Yeah, you're an idiot. <laughs> Gus, I'm getting a little static on a headset. Okay! How do I know that the ruby is in there? Have a look! All right, all right! Close the box! Close the box! Is it closed? Yeah! Okay. How do we make the exchange? See the rope? Yes. Move over. Okay. You go and cut him off. When I get the ruby, you bring back the money, okay? Okay! <laughs> Bruno? Bruno, get ready. Don't worry, I've got everything under control! Myself an orphan. What? the same question. Oh, no! Look at me, Cardinal! Come back here, you lion sack of shit! Listen! Listen to me! Hey, the 
Don't try anything stupid, pal. What would be fucking stupider than this? Chief! Come, come back here! Chief! Here's a way out. Shut it, Leon. I'll take care of it. After you, Leon. Is fine with me, uh, Dad. Give me the ring. No problem. <gasps> Let's get out of here. First, we finish the deal. You get the ruby to Mahoney. You I'll get the take that. Thank you very much. And thank you. Liberation. Do plan. You get the car, you get the money, and I'll get the stone to Mahoney. Wait! I get the what? The car! I would like to thank Chief Mahoney and his men for apprehending the guilty party and returning the Byzantine fire to its rightful owners. Thank you very much. The fire will be returned to its native land, where it will be enshrined in a sacred temple of the people of Turkish descent.
That one is fifty thousand dollars. Just keep trying. 